than what we have seen in the past. And I believe it because I heard a voice from the Lord. And this is what God said. God said, you know what, Justin? Do not be too excited for what you have seen in the year 2020. But God said, I'm going to do much more beyond, much more beyond what you have experienced in the previous years. And he's going to do it. Can I tell you, I will stand right here or another location. We don't know where God takes us. But I believe that if we the words again that we're going to declare, it is the promise of God that has brought us thus far. It is the goodness of God that has brought us thus far. കഴിഞ്ഞ വർഷം അധികം വന്നു പക്ഷെ അതിന്റെ നടുവിലും ഞങ്ങൾ വിളിച്ചു പറഞ്ഞു ക്രിസ്തുവിന്റെ സ്നേഹമാണ് ആ സ്നേഹം മാത്രമാണ് കർത്താവിന്റെ സ്നേഹം മാത്രമാണ് നമ്മൾ ഇത്രത്തോളം കൊണ്ടുവന്നത് നമ്മുടെ മുമ്പിൽ ഒരു ദൗത്യമുണ്ട് we have a responsibility that god has given and we pray that until the last breath of our life we will not give our breath away to any sickness or any dangers out there any demons out there any attractions out there but we believe and we proclaim that every single breath of our life belongs to jesus as long as i live i will serve our master as long as we live we will lift up the name that is higher than anything else than name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord we have we have roughly 15 more minutes to enter into our watch night service exactly at 11:53 our worship team will be on stage and we will get into a time of praise and worship but before that i have a short word that i want to take your attention to right now and let me just quickly grab your thoughts into the word that god has given me for the year 2020 and i want to great bring your attention towards habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 habakkuk chapter number 2 verses 1 to 4 i'm going to read it for you this is how it goes i will take my post i will position myself on the fortress i will keep watch to see what the lord says to me and how he will respond to my complaint let me just pause on verse 1 that i just read all through 2020 and in our life if you're alive and beating we all have a complaint when we come to god's presence we all come with complaints when we meet with our pa- we all have complaints when we come to the presence of god with our prayer and petitions we have complaints and habakkuk is prophesying into the life of israel yet i will take my post i will position myself on the fortress i will keep watch to see what the lord says to me and how he will respond to my complaint i am here to declare in the name of jesus if you are gathered in this space right now you're watching me online from whatever location geographic place you are in antarctica or even mars if we have the celestial broadcasting network joining us from all across the universe and galaxies Welcome to Zion Church's live stream. And today together as we walk into a new year, I am here to declare today that you might have gathered in this space saying, "God, I have a lot of complaints about what has happened in my life. I have complaints about what is not happening in my life. Your promises seem to not have come to fruition in my life." But the book of Habakkuk reminds us children that I will take position. I will position myself on the fortress. I will keep watch of what the Lord is about to say and how he is about to respond to my complaint. Verse 2, then the Lord answered me and said, write a vision, make it plain upon a tablet so that a runner can read it. Verse 3, there is still a vision for the appointed time. Oh, I don't know whom I'm speaking to today. But today on December 31st, 2020, 15 minutes into our watch night service, I am here to declare in the name of Jesus, 
says there is still an appointed time for the vision that you have written and bible helps us to understand it testifies to the end it does not deceive if it delays wait for it for it surely it is coming it will not be late and in jesus name i am here to declare to the body of Christ listening to me no matter what you have written down as a vision for your family a vision for your ministry a vision for your personal life or your business but I'm here to declare you may not have seen it but God is telling me to tell you write down today take a piece of paper write it down write your vision down for your family write your vision down for your business write your vision down for your personal life God says you might have seen it being delayed but it is not a denial it is about to come it is about to pass into your life he's gonna do it my God is a God if he says something he will do it Hallelujah! 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 Habakkuk, Provazig and Vilichipar in the book of Habakkuk reminds us that this is the time that I'm going to take my position. You know what the word God gave me? The God gave me a word for the year 2021. He said, you know what, Justin, you've been celebrating, your church has been celebrating for the year 2020, that definitely God has exp expanded you, established. A lot of people are talking about you. You know, I mean, sometimes we go to places and people recognize, oh, you're the guy from that church, your church, this church, this is happening. People recognize. We're happy when people recognize you. But God told me the other day when I, you know, I was spending some time in the presence of God. He said, Justin, you and your church have not even seen what I'm about to do. All God wants us to do today and the word for the year 2021 that God is promising is it is an year for us to position ourselves. God says this is the year that the church will position yourself. This is the year ministries will position yourself. Pastors listening to me under my voice right now. Position yourself. Worship leaders position yourself. Ministers position yourself. God says this is the year that the church will position Position yourself. Hallelujah. There is something about position. There is something about taking a particular position. I've been in the maternity war with my wife and she went into the labor. You know, everything was going good. But the right time, the nurse walked into the room and my, they looked at my wife and as she was dilating and the, 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 the nurse told her, you know what, honey, I know everything is going good so far, but it is time for you to take your position. Uh, the doctor walked into the room and the doctor said, honey, I think everything is fine, but it is time for you to take position. Before the birth happened, the doctor helped us understand there is something about you positioning yourself. Can I tell you something? Uh, an athlete, a runner who is going on a sprint, a marathon race, before he jumps on, you know what he does? The first position is he goes on his knees and he weighs, he pays attention to the sound of the gun to the sound of the call and at the very moment when he hears this, he's paying attention to it and he is ready to spring forward what does he do he is paying attention to and he is positioning himself God is asking our church this season this walk and ministry no matter where you are in your business in your journey in your personal life position yourself position yourself in your spiritual life position yourself in your prayer life position yourself i don't know whom i am talking to today but there is somebody out here i am here to declare position yourself and you are about to see an exponential growth in your life do you believe it with me hallelujah hallelujah i am instilling hope into somebody's life today what no matter where you are, but I declare under the sound of my voice, position yourself. Your season, need in the position. Enter the community. Habakkuk reminds us, I will 
position myself to hear from God. Position ourselves. In the month of January, I'm going to do a sermon series on how to position ourselves into different courses of life's journey. How to position ourselves to hear from God, to receive from God. How to position ourselves. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Second Chronicles chapter chapter 20. Well, well, let's make the very spiritual environment here. You know, Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15 to 18 says, And he said, Listen, all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and King Jehoshaphat, thus saith the Lord to you, Do not be afraid, do not be dismayed of the great horn, for the battle is not yours, but God. I don't know if you heard me right right now. Bible helps us to understand the battle is not yours, but God. Yudam Pashu Yudam Watchinam Namale or Pikino. Tomorrow go down against them. Behold, they will come up at the ascent of seas. You will find them at the end of the valley east of the wilderness of Jeruel. You will not need to fight in this battle. Listen to verse 11. You will not need to fight in this battle. But what you got to do? One, stand firm. Two, hold your position and see the salvation of the Lord on your behalf. Oh, Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid and do not be dismayed. Tomorrow, go against them and the Lord will be with you. Verse 18. And Jehoshaphat bowed down his head with his face to the ground and all the Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem fell down before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. Can we all rise up in God's house today? Listen to us, the word that God has given us for the year 2021 is a year that we are going to position ourselves. Ministers, ministries, businesses, individual life, no matter where you are, position yourself in your prayer, in your fasting, in the way you do your services, in the way you minister to one another, in the way you show the fruits of love to one another. Position yourself. When you position yourself, God says, you don't have to fight this battle. God is going to fight for us. Do you believe with me? God is going to fight for us. God is going to fight for us. Come on, somebody. Turn to your wife right now and let her know God is going to fight for us. Turn to your children right now. Let them know God is going to fight for us. My God is on my side. And if God is for us, who can be against us? I'm going to reposition. I'm going to position to receive. I'm going to position to give. I'm going to position to grow. God is on our side. He is going to do it. How many of you ready to worship God? Hallelujah. You know what the word Judah means? You know what the word Judah means? Judah means the one who praises God. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Judah means the one who praises God. Studikino in the bed on the Yehuda. In the Studikino retrovere Zion Savekatonda. Online media, Chuma Kandon di Kanda, Karengale Adicha Devatani Studikimol. One, I will not be afraid. Two, I will not be dismayed. Three, I will take position. Four, the battle is not mine. Five, victory in the name of Jesus. Victory in the name of Jesus. Let us sing songs and worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It is to the Amen. the the
gonna expand our position in Ninna Madi Devasari. Pastor, our position in Ninna Madi. He's gonna do exponential growth in our churches. I don't know if you believe it, but I'm believing it. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Namar Devat Turimichu Narada can be a former Lee Varsham Aradish thing, you were a Varsham Arajanari. Amen. Dabi the Nepon and Nirtan Jetra Dabi the Maradunda. Other kind of Haria, Kutamarneka. Because she doesn't know the way that he came to the palace. She was born in a palace, but David was a shepherd boy. But God is the one who brought him there. All you have to do is position yourself and dance. Davi the Paul and Numnertam Yate did him. Hallelujah, Mahatam. Davi the Paul and Numnertam Yate did him. Hallelujah, Mahatam. Kaitalatal. Kaitalatal and Nuani Chidum.
2021 looks good already. <laughs> Come, on. Come on, somebody. 2021 looks good already. Can I have some house lights that I can see some smiling faces in this building? I am here to declare under my voice that God is going to lift you up this year. God is going to take you places this year. And I declare that you will not be the tail but the head. And God will lift you up. Yeshu in the Namatel. Pare the Mark and the Warsham Himarate. Pare the Nekurichi Mood and the Warsham Himarate. Or the Pudima Putti Clerk and the Warsham. Yeshu in the Namatel. And the Yanga Prakiabikiana. Sion Saba, Nim Valerum. Kudamangal Nim Valerum. Evangelist Idin Dagatan and Nelkum. I declare. Evangelists will rise up from this house. God has called us to be the light of the world and we will shine when the world is in darkness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Turn to your neighbor, give them an air fire and let them know Happy New Year. Come on somebody, Happy New Year. Watching us online, no matter where you are, we love you, Happy New Year. God bless you. God be with you. God bless you and be on your side. May He walk beside you and give you victory in the ways and works of your life. Your business is going to expand in the name of Jesus. Your education is going to grow in the name of Jesus. And I believe God is going to do it. He's a God who wants to bless His children. Receive it today, church. We're going to receive the blessings from our Father today. He's a good, good Father. He wants to bless His children. How many of you are saying, God, I'm your child. I'm your child. Father, bless me. He's here to bless us today. Families, church, watching us online, may the Lord bless you. And may He keep you. Let us sing that powerful song as a blessing over our church today.
Surrender ourselves, church, today. The blessing of God is all over you. May He bless you. May He keep you. A thousand may fall at your south, ten thousand at your right. It will not harm you. Abijadam Israel ne palike gila. A wakta tam nama kanga swigari kya mana. Yeshu ida nama to. In the name of Jesus. മകനെ മകളെ നീ നിന്റെ തലമുറയുടെ തലമുറകളെ കാണും ഈ വർഷം കല്യാണങ്ങൾ നടക്കും ഇൻ ദ നെയിം ഓഫ് ജീസസ് ഗാഡ് ഇസ് ഗോണ ബ്ലസ് യു വി ബിലീവ് ഇൻ ദ പ്രോമിസസ് ഓഫ് അവർ ഫാദർ ദിസ് ഇയർ വി ഡിക്ലെയർ വെഡിങ്സ് വിൽ ഹാപ്പൻ നഷ്ടമായി കിടക്കുന്നത് പ്രാപ്തിക്കുന്ന പ്രാപിക്കുന്ന ദിവസങ്ങളായി മാറട്ടെ എവ്രിതിങ് ദ ഇയേഴ്സ് ദ മന്ത്സ് ദ വി ലോസ്റ്റ് ബ ലിസൺ 
when we position in the presence of God, He's going to give it to us. It's a reminder to everybody in this building right now. Let this be the season for us to position ourselves. Position our altar, family altar. Position our personal altar. Position our relationships. Position our commitments. You know what? You cannot say I'm going to get out of debt if you don't position your spending habits. You cannot say you're going to have good relationships if you cannot position your forgiveness. Position yourself this year. Position yourself in every walk and spirit. Your, the way you do things as a child, position yourself. Can I tell you, before December 31st, 2021, when we have positioned ourselves, we are going to see the hand of God working in the life of our church, working in the life of our families. Today, I am here to bless you. I am here to pour out the blessings of heaven over your life. I am here to declare that you will not become the tail, but the head in Jesus' name. You are called to be a leader, an influencer in the place of work, wherever God has positioned you. Take up your position back again. Take up your position back again. In your city, let the devil know, you know what? I am going to take my position back as a prayer warrior. I am going to take my position back as an intercessor. I am going to position myself as an evangelist. I am going to position myself to advance the kingdom of heaven. And I am here to declare, when you take the right position that God has given in your life, no weapon that is formed against you shall ever prosper. Because God says, I, the Lord, I am with you. Hallelujah. Take your position this year. Take your position. We need to get a kind of nasta pata position. Tirich prapti chaka. Hallelujah. In the prathen and a position. Our relationships in a position. Capture it back. Satan nasta pati. We have lost it. But this year we are going to gain it back in Jesus' name. How many of you believe with me today? How many of you believe with me today? Father, I give our audience, everybody under my voice, in your hands. And I pray in the name of Jesus. God, you bless them. You be with them. Lead them out of this place with the favor of God in their life. Father, I pray that you be on their side. I pray for families. I pray for our youngsters in Jesus' name. The doors of relationships be open in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes be open in the name of Jesus. Let there be a vision casting in their businesses, in their personal life, in their marriages in the name of Jesus. We cancel debts in the name of Jesus. This is the year that I will live to see and glorify that Jehovah is Rapha Yehovah in my life. Thank you God for what we give you glory and honor. In Jesus name, Amen, Amen, Amen. Y'all may be seated. Everybody please be seated.